Hey folks, Garrett, Old Breed Outdoors, coming back again with another one of our informational videos in this informational series of ours. Hopefully you guys have been liking it. From the views, it seems like you guys enjoy uh, checking out these review videos. So we're gonna keep them coming. And uh, hopefully you guys have seen the previous ones I've done recently, talking about the First Light's uh, whitetail line with the Spectre pattern, and then uh, some of the whitetail specific features. We're gonna get right into it. I've done the Obsidian Foundry Pants, the Catalyst Jacket, and then I started getting into their colder weather stuff with the uh, Solitude Vest, um, and then there's the Solitude Jacket. Today we're gonna to talk about the bibs, which is kind of the last in this system of you know, the whitetail line that they have. I don't have, the, they have the Sanctuary uh, setup, which is their uh, extreme cold stuff. Where I'm living here in Virginia, don't really know that I need it, but even going up to Pennsylvania for you know, the, the December rifle season stuff, it's, I still don't know that I need it. Um, last year, I was pretty toasty. So getting into that colder weather, you know, I was able to put on like my base layers with the, which I use the furnace, which is the, the heaviest uh, base layer that First Light makes. And then I put on the foundry pants underneath my bibs so that I can walk into where I'm going without putting these bibs on and getting nice and hot and sweaty, which isn't good for the, you know, once you sit down and get stationary. And then uh, I'll put the vest on, the solitude vest on as well. A lot of times, again, I'll just walk in with the vest on and I'll put the jacket on um, once I get to where I'm going. So it's been pretty nice, it, it, you know, very comfortable. It's a good system that ties together and, uh, you know, the layering keeping you nice and toasty. So again, this is the whitetail line. So you've got the bibs that go with, you know, your jacket or even the, just the, the vest if you wanted. Um, and you get it in the Spectre pattern here. So that, I'll tell you, I'm super impressed with the Spectre pattern. Chris and I were out in Arizona in January, and uh, I took my uh, the Obsidian Foundry pants and my Catalyst jacket with me, and then my uh, my ba I have uh, the Kiln long sleeve in the Spectre. And you know, I'll tell you, like hanging out there in the rocks, doing some glass, and you know, Chris looking down and could barely see me in the bushes. So uh, definitely seemed to work pretty well even out in that terrain, but. You know, for you know, most of my stuff is out here on the East Coast. I'm super impressed with this pattern and how how well it works um, in the in the in this kind of terrain. So, as far as the you know this, the pants here, so just like the jacket and the, and the vest, it's got that windproof um, on air. You know, it's the as they say the dead silent fully featured seamless integration. That they you know they talk about and it's a system designed um, from the ground up. And it really is a system. Like I and I already talked about that. But um, can't say enough good things about just really how the, this all pairs together. So um, it does have you know that windproof setup like I talked about. So you've got the um, you've got the you know the, the DWR water repellent on the outside. It's not going to keep you dry in a rainstorm, but it will keep you dry in some snow that's melting on it, or uh, you know like a light drizzle, and it'll get you out of that. But if you want to stick out there for a long time in the rain, you're going to get wet. But it will keep you, you know, dry in those lighter conditions. Uh, it's got the, the same. It's got that same two-layer um, setup that the other, the jacket and the vest have, and that catalyst fabric. So it's nice and soft, uh, which is that silent they're talking about. And I do like it uh, across all of those jackets and, and then the bibs and the vest. You know, having this material, I'm a huge fan of it, and it has held up well. And you know, durability-wise, you know, going through, you know, the woods and hitting brush and things like that haven't had any problems with it tearing or catching or you know, any pulls in the fabric. Um, and it's got that, so it's windproof. It has a windproof membrane in there. I've sat out in the field in my, up in Pennsylvania in December with it snowing and blowing and all that and been very comfortable. And, and to the point too that even wearing this, all of that stuff, having, you know, you know, the jacket, the vest, the bibs and the base layers, I don't feel like, you know, you know Ralphie from Christmas Story, you know, being like overly puffy and not being able to move, which with other you know systems I've worn in the past, that was definitely the case. So for this, uh, I get I definitely give this a, a pretty high rating in that uh, capacity. Um, it does have the 100 grams of the uh, synthetic insulation. You know, same thing the jacket has, very warm, and then it has that the same micro uh, fleece liner on that the jacket all their stuff has, and it, which is super soft, super comfortable, uh, and very silent. So, getting into the uh, the features of the of the um, 
bibs. You've got on the top of the bibs here, you've got your pockets here. And if you haven't seen those videos, you won't know how easily accessible these are. So you should probably stop this, go back, watch those, and then come back. All right, you're back. On those jackets, on the jacket and the bibs, or the, the vest, it has those zippers on the both sides you can use for ventilation, but you can also use it to access your bibs. So you unzip those, you can put your hands in here and get to this top pocket, which is a very nice deep pot pocket here. And then you can get into this these open pocket on the side and since you just your bib muffs, if you will, on the side. So that's a great feature. Um, and again, the micro, micro fleece on the inside of that. Uh, I don't like wearing gloves. I work, most of the time, I'm going to wear, unless it's really, really, really cold out, I'm going to wear the fingerless gloves. So I have that dexterity in my fingertips. So being able to put my hands in something like this underneath those other layers, pretty clutch. Um, the suspenders, you'll recognize that is the same style as their other suspenders for their pants, just wider. And then the, on the, the clips here, they're pretty nice plastic, but they seem to be pretty durable and they, they snap in very easily. So I like those. On the side here has uh, on the well at, on the back it's all elastic here for on your, your waistline. So there is some good stretch there. But it has on the side it has this piece that you can kind of you know adjust a little bit if you will. But what it's really designed for is to hold your pants together when you if you have, have it vented I guess. So because what it does have is a full length zipper. So if you have this zipped up all the way to the top. The bottom here, you've got the zipper all the way down, and you can come all the way up to that, which is great. Especially like me, I like to be able to put these on with my boots on and everything, so I can just zip those up or unzip those, put put them on, and zip them back down. Um, I can vent if I need to from the top. Just zip that down a little bit. And then get some ventilation and then you got that velcro to kind of hold it closed so that's a really nice feature and that's on both legs obviously it does have a you know a little a button here on the bottom to hold it closed on the bottom there isn't extra buttons to kind of cinch this cuff closed which doesn't bother me at all but if you had this up a little bit and you didn't want it flapping around you could uh buckle that and you could still get some ventilation there if you wanted to from the bottom so but that feature is there and again, it's got that nice soft material all the way down. Once you get down to the bottom of the cuff here, you get out of that micro uh, fleece stuff and you get into a more of a soft, uh, it's even a softer material than just the outside here with the uh, catalyst layering. One thing I don't like about this, it, it, it's just me, it doesn't have the pockets, you know, like the pant pockets here and you know, the hip pockets. It doesn't have that and that does kind of bother me, but if you have the jacket on or the vest on, doesn't really matter anyways because you have those on your jacket but it does have um, on the front and I like this feature I'm not a fan of it for like regular pants because um, I'm walking around and like I said I don't really walk around in these much but on the front and this is the same as like they have those uh, the obsidian pants that have the zipper sides um, it's the same uh, idea there's pockets on the front here and they're the same style pockets that are on the corrugate guide pants if you're familiar with those where you've got the little flap that comes up you can stick your hand in there's no zipper and it's got the uh, micro fleece on the inside but then it also has a zipper that you can reach in um, for another portion there if you want something a little bit more secure what i like about that is when i'm sitting that's what it's designed for is when you're sitting down here you don't necessarily have good access to these pockets and then stuff on the side may not be as accessible or whatever but having this and i've used it like my phone or rangefinder or whatever my release if i'm archery hunting you can just stick your your stuff in here and sit around right top of your thighs, so that feature on the on that is, is is pretty nice. So I do like that. Um, it does have you know the zipper here in the front, so you can do your business if you need to, without taking the whole thing off. Um, that's pretty nice to have. Um, so that's really about it on on this. Um, super comfortable. You know, they're not super heavy and bulky, and which is nice. And again, like I said, with wearing the whole system, I don't feel like I'm you know, just wearing this like the Michelin, looking like the Michelin man here. So pretty happy with this, with this setup.
So I would highly recommend going out and checking it out. Price point on this one is $270. Um, so they are expensive. I get that. Uh, it took a lot of years before I was able to afford stuff like this. Yeah, this is going to last you a long time. So uh, make the investment and uh, take care of it. And it's going to take care of you. So uh, I have this in an extra large. I'm six foot, 220 pounds. Fits me very well. I've talked about some of the cuts that they have. You know, like their pants don't really, I'm not a huge fan of how a lot of their pants fit. Um, but as far as jackets are concerned, they're great. And with the bibs, they fit very well as well. So I have it in an extra large and it fits me just fine. Um, there really isn't much else to talk about on it. Um, I highly recommend, check them out and see what you think. I appreciate you guys checking the video out and watching it. Hopefully it provides you some information. I encourage you to go down in the description. There's a link directly to their site, to these, these bibs. Check out all the information that's on there. Um, if you have questions or just comments in general, drop a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer any questions or any, take any feedback that you might have. Um, we really enjoy sharing this, these things with you guys. It seems like you guys enjoy them. And uh, if we can provide some information out there for you all to help you guys decide on what to buy or any, any of the other topics that we provide information on, hey, that's a win. That's what we're here trying to do with this stuff. So make sure you guys reach down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of these, these types of videos. We really appreciate you know, all the support. And uh, give us a like. Uh, head over to our website, check out our stuff. We also have down in the description is, uh, you know, we, we recently started doing some affiliate stuff. So check all that out and uh, you know, help us out. If you, if you use Mountain Ops or um, a Mystery Ranch, Leopold, Hydro Flask, there's a whole bunch of list of them in there. Those links really help us out with uh, raising some money to you know pay for all this stuff, and uh, hopefully we can start getting enough money coming in to that we'll have have enough to start giving back. So which one thing we really want to be able to do is uh, start actually generating enough you know income for the business that we can give back. So pay for our expenses and then uh, give back to conservation. So that's really what it's all about. So appreciate it. Make sure you come back. Check out all the information in the description, and we'll see you guys next time.